Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about resilience, but I also want to give a shout out to a homestead and YouTube channel that is the epitome of resilience. Um, first, let's talk about the importance of resilience, especially in 2020. Um, you know, a lot of us go through hard times, whether it's 2020 or not, and it is so important that we are able to maintain a level of resilience or it's it's just going to bring us down it's we're not going to be productive we're not going to be happy and so a lot of times being resilient is really a matter of being able to focus on the here and now and not on the past and um, to be able to learn from our mistakes and to be able to move forward and um, it's really a lot of times being able to focus on the good instead of the bad, um, instead of focusing on something bad that happened, focusing on what can you learn from that experience and how you can do what is within your power in order to move forward. Um, resilience is really, really important when you have ADHD um, because, you know, resilience can become a bit of a superpower for people with ADHD because we are so used to having to overcome even little things that most people find easy. Um, they can be devastating to us, or it's just that we have um, been through so much and failed so many times that if we gave up easily, I mean, goodness, we'd never get anything accomplished. And so, you know, when you find yourself struggling and focusing usually if you're struggling you're focusing too much on the past or if you're focusing too much on the future and you're not focusing enough on today you need to focus on what you can do it, you know it's good to have a vision for your future but you've got to focus on what you have control of today and you've got to take steps today to move forward and when you make a mistake you assess that mistake, learn from that mistake, and you continue to move forward. Um, and so, let's talk about resilience. Let's talk about a, a really good YouTube channel that focuses, I think, well, they're in the process of writing a book on resilience, as a matter of fact, and that is Mother Utter Farm, Jesse and Craig. Um, I had the just pleasure of meeting Jesse and Craig at the Homesteading Life Conference that Doug and Stacy put on. Um, I met them back in August, and oh my goodness, you guys. Jesse, her, her um, background is in marriage and family therapy, which I think is incredibly awesome. Y'all know I was a therapist before I started staying home to raise my youngest. Um, and so, you know, I have that connection. I, I love to kind of meet and talk to other therapists. And Craig, you guys, okay, you, Craig is a hoot and a half in, in my book. He is hilarious. He is as ADHD as I am. He is as scattered as I am. And if you can imagine what it must be like to have me talking to someone who is so similar to me, we had a lot of fun and um, there were a lot of tangents and squirrels in our conversations and um, but you need to check out their video from uh, the the homesteading life conference the very end of the video is um his interview with me or when he tried to interview me you guys he is hilarious um and we just laughed most of the time i just i watched it and i just laughed all over again and the funny thing was that the interview is, the video is relatively short, but we talked a lot over that two day period and we laughed so much. I laughed, y'all, if you ever get a chance to go to any conference with homesteaders, you need to go. Hopefully by next year, they won't all be virtual and you'll get to go and hang out with some really amazing people. Um, so let's get back to Craig and Jesse at Mother Utter Farms. They're homesteaders, they're homeschoolers, they live in California. You know where all the fires are? Um, and they actually lost their farm in 2018, their homestead, uh, 
two fire the paradise fire i think is one of the biggest fires in in his in the country's history i, I don't know though you can learn all of that from their channel and i think they actually started their channel to document the kind of the process of overcoming to, the cleanup and the, just what was happening on their homestead and they continue to do videos and they're in the process of writing a book on resilience. I can't wait till it comes back, comes out. Um, but they're just amazing. They, they're just their lifestyle, how they're living now while they're rebuilding. They've been on Homestead Rescue um, after the fire. It, wow, y'all. I mean, they are just an amazing family. And, and they do, like, they have one video on pressure canning salmon um outdoors it is just like wow now we don't even really have fresh salmon around here i mean i'm in arkansas but now i want to go can salmon um, i'm gonna have to find a way to get some fresh salmon so i can can it so um but yeah they, you just need to check them out let them know that farmer Mima sent you and just you guys such a great family such a sweet family go give them some love and support i would really appreciate it and be sure to subscribe i'll put a link to their channel as well as a link to that video um, from the homesteading life conference so you can see why i just think i just think he's funny y'all um they are both just great individuals and i think they're going to really inspire you um, and show you just keep going don't give up don't get discouraged just keep your eyes just moving forward and taking that next right step so on that note go check them out i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye y'all